YouTube was happening. Look, I just came back from the gym, man. And I drank some pre-workout mixed with some creatine, cause I that's that's my that's that's what I do. But look, ma'am, look, I think they probably finna kick me out and revoke my membership, cause boy, I didn't blew they bathroom up. When I say I blew they bathroom all the way, I told they bathroom up, y'all. Like, God forgive me for blowing them people bathroom up. I destroyed y'all bathroom. I had some McDonald's before I um I um had two McGriddles and um a, a sausage egg and cheese biscuit with some coffee. Oh man, I had to get that off. They probably when I come back tomorrow, they probably just gonna tell me like um you can't even come to this jail no more because you disrespected our bathroom. But like man, I just wanted to say, Heavenly Father, forgive me for blowing they bathroom up. I did, but look, let me tell y'all something. You got to go, you got to go. Please forgive me. Yeah, but anyway, let me tell y'all some story time. Story time. Look, say, let me tell y'all something. A lot of people gonna use us if they on punching bag. Because look, people gonna wanna, we impasse. So look, and we, like I say, we underestimated, we undervalued. A lot of people gonna try to use y'all as a punching bag to build they self up. That's what, that work, family members, um, friends. See, let me, this what we finna go to story time. It's story time because I'm gonna let you know something. My own mama was the first to ever do try to tear me down to build me back to this day she still try to um tear me down and build herself back up because she cannot believe that i'm not the man that she wanted me to be because it everything she it was a complete lie all the projection all the gas like it was a complete lie see god gonna make an example out of these individuals these people plots and schemes will not work against the children of god i promise you because guess what we don't live we we innocent we these people lie on us so i be trying to tell a lot of people like you can't hurt me more than i done already been hurt because my mama done did everything she done did everything first so like it started at home with me so like can't nobody on this earth if your parent is your biggest hater if your parent if your is your biggest enemy it ain't nothing nobody can do let me tell you something it's nothing nobody can do because guess what it started at home no, no, let me tell you something my mama was the first person that hated on me my mama was the first person that lied on me my mama was the first person that projected it and, and still to this day try to tear me down i'm not even around you but at the end of the day that's just but see that's just what evil individuals gonna do because you need that fuel to keep going because you because narcissistic individuals they operate based off based off tearing people down to build they self up because they ain't got nothing they ain't got nothing they don't have nothing internally to offer they don't have they don't these ain't no individuals that live in truth these ain't no these individuals live a facade period point blank they lifestyle is based off facade so when you meet somebody real, of course you're gonna be intimidated. But like, as far as like I say, narcissistic parents, it's cut though with them. We was born into it. We was born into it. Can't nobody on this earth hurt me worse than I done already been hurt. I'm healed, but see, you can't hurt me worse than I already done been hurt because my mama was the first one that did everything this to me. My daddy was the um, my own parents, family member. So we already jaded, period, point blank. Let me tell y'all something. Let me go to story time because, look, I'm finna tell y'all the truth. The Lord is my witness. I don't do drugs. We don't drink alcohol. I don't do none of that. Like, I, like why do people got to, like, smoke and drink alcohol? Like, I'm naturally happy i'm naturally in a euphoric state i'm a peaceful man but look people don't people not gonna like that because guess what we get we have to escape reality we have to we have to ha i have to have a substance to inoculate me because i can't handle reality the truth of about the truth of it is let me, and, and i ain't got nothing against nobody that's my, my home smoke and drink i ain't got nothing against nobody that smoke a drink and i ain't gonna judge you period point blank i ain't that dude if you if you do that, man, go ahead and roll up. If you if you if you up some if you drink alcohol, ain't nobody judging you. I love thy neighbor. I am not. It's weird. I'm not fake like everybody else. So if you drink, you smoke. I, I, that's you. I ain't finna judge you because who am I to judge? Because I know what it feels to get lied on and slandered by the people that's closest to me. 
I've been, people gonna try to tell me, look, I, people, folks been trying to tell me down and build they self back up. But see, if you, if I allow them to tell me down, let me tell you something, they win. But see, it's not gonna work over here because guess what? I'm not gonna allow any individual that's outside of me. First of all, I know my worth as a man. And then on top of that, I'm on my purpose. So, and then three, I know exactly why individuals do the things that they do because I'm the therapist, I'm the healer. I'm a truth teller. Come on, I'm an empath. I'm the light. So, of course, you're going to individuals, and this everybody, whether it's work, whether it's friends, family members, who your spouse. Let me tell you something. We don't be doing none of nobody. Let me tell you something. People be mad and they be jealous because guess what? We everything they wish they ever was. And when they know for a fact, when people know for a fact, look, there's nothing I can do to break this individual. Let me tell you something. I got to go to the, I got to go to play. I just got to tear him down and build myself up. I got to get an ego boost off myself. But yeah, I've been dealing with it my whole life. That's why like, that's why I'm nobody. You, I'm, pain is numb to me. I'm numb to everything. Like I'm so numb to pain due to the simple fact that my narcissistic parents and my whole family tried to turn against me and tried to break me. I'm numb to pain. Look, when you've been through so much pain, you become numb to pain. I don't feel that no more. But that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. Because guess what? I'm in the bit. Let me tell you something. Anybody that's not in alignment but what you got going on as far as your life purpose, the universe gonna remove them anyway, because guess what? They're what you call dead weight. Mm. Let me let me hit y'all with the headline. This story time though. Um, like I say, I don't do drugs, I don't smoke, I don't do none of that. You my mama, and I'll never forget this. This one I'm like eight, this I'm like 19. I never in my life, I don't live illegitimate. I know not to live illegitimate because I'm a law abiding citizen. I'm a monster. So you've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. So we look, we educate ourselves to educate ourselves. So like we know what to do and what not to do. This is the, I'm, I'm one thing about Robert. Look, let me tell you something. I was raised around Europeans. Yeah, I was raised around Europeans. They taught me the game. I was raised around monsters. They, they, everything I, I'm, I'm a soprano, for real, for real. I'm Tony Soprano. I'm Johnny Sack. Shout out to Tony Soprano. Shout out to Johnny Sack. Shout, shout out to Phil Leo. Look, Phil Leotardo. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Shout out to Gus from. Um, yeah. Shout out to Gus. He ain't even a soprano. Yeah, just shout out to Gus. Y'all know who I'm If y'all know that, but I'm old school. Y'all already know I'm old school. I'm under that old school. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm one of them. So, like, we know what to do and what not to do. We educate ourselves to educate ourselves. But anyway, look. Um, look. I'm, I, look, I'm minding my business, right? I'm minding my business, right? I'm, this when I first started, like, my healing journey, like, when I first started going to the gym and stuff, because I was still 18, I was still 19, I was one of those kids to where I was codependent on my narcissistic mother, because I was, I was young, dumb, and stupid. Everybody, ain't nothing wrong with that, like, yeah, I was scared to leave the house, I was scared to venture out on my own, but see, I wasn't the individual that she said I was or made me out to be, because I'm pure hearted, but see, I couldn't understand why this woman wanted me to go to jail so bad because like I was hurting at the same time. So like when your own mother called on the police on you, if you ain't never got the police called on you by your own mother, you could never feel this. But see, you can understand, but you can't feel that. Like I say, can't nobody hurt me worse, worse than what I done already been hurt. Yeah, like I say, so we, I'm like this round, I'm like 18, 19, so like, um, um, I'm minding my business, right? So next thing you, if you know narcissistic parents, if you dealt with a narcissist, we peaceful. Our unbotheredness is going to trigger them because we, 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 we not checking for them. We not looking for them. We going to avoid them. Even if I'm staying with you, I don't want to be around you because you're a toxic individual. I'm going to go to my room, stay in my lane. Because I already know as soon as my mama get home, she finna start the stupid. She finna start it because that's who she is. She been using, she been trying to tear me down and build herself back up and still to this day. 
But like, yeah. So I'm minding my own business, right? Next thing you know, she come out. I remember like it was nothing. I got, I'm, I'm AI. My memory, my cognitive dissonance is on 100%. My, I remember it like it was yesterday. So um, I'm minding my business, right? I'm playing a game. Next thing you know, I get off at work, get out. This was the first time. I got like two times, bro. How many niggas got, how many of y'all got y'all, how many parents caught police on y'all? We ain't talking about no friends. We ain't talking about no family members. Look, we some real children. Man, we some we Jesus Christ up out here, man. The people closest to us was trying to tear us down. Our own mama tried to tear us down. Period point blank. Y'all don't know nothing about that. This some gangsters. This should get gangster. This was some gangsters. You know, gang, I don't care about no boyfriend and no girlfriend and no. Yeah, you ain't never in your life got lying on and smeared and got the police called on you by your own mama. Can you imagine the psychological effect that's gonna have on the individual? Knowing they innocent, but my own mama want me to go to jail for nothing. Fuck you, hoes. This every I hear on planet Earth, I don't play with no. That's the mentality. Uh huh. I can't trust no woman. Because my mama was the one who tried to lie on me. You, that's the mentality you gonna have. This like, a lot of street niggas know what I'm talking about, blood. Like y'all remember boys up in y'all remember boys in the hood? When when his mama, when I'm dope boy, I got a brother that he Ricky, he the golden child. I'm the black sheep, I'm the scapegoat, I'm dope boy. But see, when me and my brother fought, guess who, guess who, guess who the mama got came at me. And I'm like, what, what you hit me for? What you hit me? We was both fighting, but see, what you hit me for? Mm-hmm. What you hit me for? Yep. That's real, too. That's real, too. Like, especially when he was like, man, at the um after Ricky got killed, he was like, man, she loved that fool more than me. Uh-huh. And and let me tell you something. He ain't had nothing to do with that. She still blamed Rick, Doughboy for for Ricky getting killed, bro. Y'all need to watch that movie, bro. Doughboy was the skateboard, uh, the scapegoat. I'm Doughboy. Every time, look, you are the image of the man that I hate. So guess what? I'm going to take my anger and frustration out on you. Yes. Mm hmm on hood but anyway that's just what it is so like i'm minding my business playing the game next you know she come up in there got the star and the stupid you know got the which in my business trying to look peering and prying couldn't uh couldn't accept the fact that i was in that mind of my business so next thing you know um I, I let me tell you something we in past so we don't talk back because we I, we in past we ain't finna let no narcissistic individual um, we gonna fight back. So at the end of the day, when she came, pfft, let me tell you something. Y'all already know what it was. I ain't did nothing but tell you the truth. And the truth hurts narcissists. We impasse. We don't do nothing but tell the truth. So the truth, the hate, let me tell you something. This, these motherfuckers hate the truth. They hate the truth. Fear point blank. So guess what? Right, you already know what was gonna happen one after that. Man, look, boy, look, we had got to it. Me, we had gotten to it. I wouldn't say gotten to it. I was defending myself against evil, period, point blank. So, next thing you know, I hear, I hear, um, you know what? I hear, um, boom, 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 knocking at my door. I'm like, who is that? Um, Robert, this is the, um, such and such police. Um, can you step outside right quick? I'm like, yeah, Robert, we want to talk to you. We want to talk. Look, I'll remind you, I'm still a kid. I'm like, I'm, I'm like 19 years old. I'm suffering from severe childhood trauma. I didn't even know what. I didn't even expect you to move like that. That's why I don't trust nobody. Period. Point blank. That you will never trust nobody after your own mama forsake you. That's why I don't trust nobody, bro. Like Tupac said, trust no fucking body. Look, my own family did me in. Period. Point blank. Man, but look, let me tell you something. Police knocking on my door. Um, Robert, can you step outside? Yeah. Um, look, we um, like we um, we, we um, your mother um called us and said that you was being um, she called for a domestic dispute. I would never put my hands on no woman, though. This woman and lied and said that I didn't put my hands on her. This woman and lied and said um that I was trying to come for her. And guess what? She that day I had to go too. 
I had to go. Yeah, the police made me leave. And I was like, what? I didn't even do nothing. But see, let me tell you something. This is why I don't fuck with the police because guess what? The police don't operate based off justice. If my, look, if y'all, look, y'all knew for a fact that, okay, you know what? But see, demons gonna help demons. And I'm gonna say that right now. Demons gonna help demons. Yeah. Them police is one on my side because guess what? It's, it's a spiritual battle going on. Yep. We wrestle against flesh and blood. So at the end of the day, I knew right then I couldn't trust the, trust the justice system because they already chose their side. Period. And these was two, these was two, um, Mazungos. Yes. I ain't even gonna tell y'all what that mean. Go, go look up what Mazungo mean. I'm on my African. But yeah. Mm hmm. But yeah. That's it. Okay. She called the police on me. They told me, and you wanted me to get out, and I left. But see, at the end of the day, where the fuck I was gonna go? But and then I still left, and I went to my one of my. I left, and I went to my sister house, cause the police took me up over there. But like, I was fucked up. Like I was met, like that, that that that. It was from that moment. Reality was never the same with me. Period. And I don't mind sharing that with nobody because I know for a fact all my brothers and sisters been through it. Everybody done been through it. This some real gangster. Like this some real boys in the hood, dope boy type shit. Like we really was our parents was our mama really was the first person. That's on everything. But look, okay. I was still programmed after that situation happened. I was gone for like three days at the house. I was gone for like three days. I was in my sister's house for like three days. But then, like, I, of course I went back. So like a couple of months later, a couple of months later, I guess she thought like, see, that gave her the fuel that she wanted because look, okay. If I call the police on him and I'm lying on my own. So, see me, I'm thinking in my mind, Wait a minute, you, I ain't even that type of, you know you ain't, look, when you don't go to jail, you know, you, when the police tell you, okay, do you have anywhere to go? They know for a fact that they can't arrest you because you got, it, 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 let me tell you something, that's not um domestic, trust me, the guy had my back, but like I'm saying, the police already know what a domestic dispute is, and then on top of that, if you take one good look at me, this dude does not look like he'll put his hands on a woman. So at the end of the day, let me tell you something. She was mad at that for the first. She was mad because she wanted me to go to jail, period, point blank. But see, ma'am, that's not he. That's not a crime. He didn't commit no crime. We are the police officers. We're here to upkeep the peace. So we, the only thing we're gonna do is make him leave. Mm hmm. So anyway, like probably like eight months afterward, I, that gave her the fuel to call the police on me. Um, because guess what? From it was from that moment, she said, you know what? I'm going to try to tell him that I'm, I got to break this boy image because it that, that didn't stop me. I didn't even let that stop me, period, point blank. I wasn't even tripping over that because guess what? I'm pure hearted. I was still in the gym. I was this. I was still working out. I was still being healthy, educating myself, um, going to school. We, I'm still, we still on top to this day. I'm a whole lion up out here. Like for real, for real. I'm the I'm the realest masculine man you gonna ever see. Man, it's nothing that I cannot overcome. Period point blank. I didn't been through hell. We thugging. Anyway, so like eight months afterwards, eight months afterwards, we got into it again. But but it, she, of course, she started it because she's an energy vampire. She cannot accept the fact that that I am not the man that my daddy is i'm better yeah but see it's the light inside me that bothers her and triggers her that that that's inside her because she you can't break somebody like me you can't break somebody like me you can never break a man like me i'm unbreakable anyway but like yeah like eight months later this is where this is why i, I stopped this is where i was done because i'm a i'm a gangster i'm a gangster i'm under the rule i'm a gangster i ain't gonna lie you a rat so if you call the police on me you a rat and let me tell you something like he said our godfather you mean absolutely nothing to me i don't want to see you at any family events i won't be at your funeral i won't be nowhere you are a rat you have shown me nothing you're dead to me now mm -hmm. i'm a gangster real talk I would never rat on no man. I would never defame no man character. I would never do that to no woman. If I don't, if I wouldn't want to do it to me, I wouldn't do it to nobody else because I respect individuals. But see, I'm a gangster. It's no ratting, no anybody. Let me tell you something. 
I'm super sad. I'm, one thing about me, I'm super solid. I took that as ratting. If any nigga ratted, I don't fuck with them. I don't care who they is. We don't fuck with who rats. If you a rat, we cannot associate with you. Pin point blank. She's a rat. I don't know fucking associate with no rats, blood. That's the that, that that that's why I'm on top. But that's anybody in life. If I catch you, let me tell you something. If you hit, if I if somebody is a rat, I will not I will not associate myself with you. You's a rat. You a fed. You're the police. Like once I knew that my mama was the police, that's why I'm saying that's when I knew for a fact it was war. Uh huh. That's just the way it is. So like I knew, okay, this is a dangerous individual. So like, she don't see me as her son. She see me as the enemy. So I don't see you as my mother. You the enemy now. So let me tell you something. It's gonna always be war because you violated the code. I'm, I'm under street code. No ratting, no kissing and telling, no none of that. I don't care who you is. I am a gangster. If you rat it, if you tell the police, it's over with for you. We gonna violate you, period, point blank. I'm a gangster. So she underestimated a, a gangster. She underestimated a person that's on demon time anyway. Uh huh. I'm speaking on my story. I don't know about y'all's story. If you ain't never got, like I say, I'm a gangster. I'm the Godfather. If you rat, if you anything would, if we like, first of all, if we family. Nothing outside of this family. Nobody outside. Nothing. No, if anybody outside should know nothing about this. Cause you already abusing people. So look, but like, if you get the law involved, oh yeah, I'm not gonna associate myself with you. You're a rat. That's automatic hit. Male, female, we gangsters. I'm saying we some gangsters, cuz we we real gangsters. Anybody rat? Come on, man. Anybody rat? Come on, man. We don't do no ratting. If if we if it's my bed, I lay in it. If I do something. And if I get the time, if I do the crime, I'm going to do the time, period, point blank. I ain't ratting on nothing. I ain't telling nobody. It's 10 toes down. I'm going to do my time and I'm going to take it like a G. I ain't going to get no law involved because guess what? I know for a fact that the law will never be on my side. So, and that's just me being, you know, the Tony Soprano, the the Johnny Sack, the Phil Leotardo that I am, period, point blank. I'm scar-faced with this sh we don't, with anybody that violate the code, we don't care who you is. Anybody that rat, we don't talk to you. Mama, daddy, sister, grandma, anybody that rat, we will not associate with you. It's the fact that you already lying and defaming my character. So like at the end of the day, yeah, so that's the integrity behind me being a gangster. Oh, look, facts. Facts, man. Man, we really, man, we, man, it's, man, we really, look, man, we really like that, y'all. Yeah, man. But anyway, the second time, I was, like I say, like eight months down. I still stand with her, so, but like, we really got, like, pfft, we really got into it because I got to, like, we, because one thing about, if, one thing about, um, because, Oh man, we look. We was born in a toxic household, so we was been disrespecting our mamas. We was, we was, we been disrespectful with this. We been arguing with our mamas. We been telling them all types of names. We cussing out our mom. We really cussing out our mamas. This for some gangsters. This for some real gangsters. I'm talking about. I'm just for gangsters. Like just for some. Is that ain't yeah? We been disrespectful because our mamas. We was raised disrespectful. Our mamas was always telling us we ain't gonna be nothing, you ain't shit, you ain't this and that. And I'm like, and we out the gate, man, fuck you. Yeah. So like we was just we been toe up. Like this some this from like we at we we, I, we come from the bottom. We come from the bottom. We southern niggas. So like if you a southern nigga, you already know for a fact you you had that with your mama. Cause that's the norm. It's really normal in the um when cause that we we been fighting them. We been battling. So like that's just what it is. Uh-huh. But like, yeah, that second time, look, called the cops. But this time, they it was the same cops, man. It was the same cops. They came again. They was looking like, oh, my God, what do this woman want now? But see, this time they was on my side because she lied on them and told them that I had marijuana on me. So they searched me. They said, ma'am, where's the marijuana up on me? She told them. 
okay first she said i had marijuana on me i don't smoke then on top of that she said that um she told them that i was trying to attack her because she was really trying to have me go to jail she i swear to god god came through god came through both times that's why my allegiance is with god that's why nobody gets the credit but god i swear to god god boy let me tell you something i put that on everything i love god came through both times you is not finna ruin my son's future period point blank because he do not live illegitimate and you a lie and i'm finna show you that you cannot stop him period point blank let me tell you something this woman told the po cops that i had marijuana this woman said that i was trying to hit her this woman said that i was disrespecting everybody up in the house in the um cop I, guess what the cops knew she was lying because i set my I set my work gym up in a garage. So once they came out, they was like, once they came and she called them, she pulled the in, she pulled the Karen. Yeah, if you got a narcissistic mother, you got a Karen. She pulled that Karen, like that entitlement, like uh, he cried, she got the crime putting on a facade, but see, the police didn't buy none of that. Because once they came, I was in a the garage. They said, wait a minute, ma'am, this dude, there's no way this guy can smoke marijuana because every time we see him, he's jogging the neighborhood, he's working out. These the neighborhood police, this um the community police. Bro, let me tell you something. That marijuana didn't work. They pulled me and her to they pulled me and her to a different room. She they said, Robert, let me tell you something. We know that regardless, this not your house. This is what the police said. They said, Do you have anywhere to go? Because we're quite frankly, we sick of this. And let me tell you something. It was a woman. It was a it was a Caucasian woman that was standing right there. You could see the pain on her eyes as, she, as my mother was lying on me. She was just shaking her head like Pff. I can't believe this woman because the police was trained. They trained on body language. They trained. They have to be trained in order to read body language. They knew my mother was lying. They knew I was telling the truth. But and, and let me tell you something. That's when God came through. They all pulled me to the side. They said, Robert, let me tell you something. We deal with this type of stuff within y'all community on a daily basis and let me tell you something i know you telling the truth this is what the cops told me but see that was god they're like robert i know you telling the truth and the female cop was just the female cop looked like she was finna cry no joke she like she was finna cry because she knew i was innocent you know when somebody is innocent and when somebody when you know somebody in look there's no way we searched him how could hey, you want to know what got to them they was like we searched him and he has no marijuana on him why would like what what is game like they was wasting once they realized they wasted her time they was wasting once they realized she was wasting day time because this was the second time the only difference they came with a female cop they came with uh it was one unit then they came with a second unit because this was the second time so like mm-hmm but like look let me tell you something it, i don't live illegitimate i don't do drugs so it didn't work boy let me tell you something that's why let me tell you something them fe that female cop was had them she had them she had that looking of uh, disgust in her face like i have this is why we don't respect y'all community this is why we don't like that they will lie on their own sons for something that they, these some evil motherfuckers and that's what she look at that mm-hmm but like every let me tell you something after that let me tell you something let me tell y'all what this what god came through they put both I swear to God, that's why I love the police. Let me tell you something. They came through. They said, Robert, you know what? We don't care what we don't care what we gotta do. We gotta get you away from this woman. Because we know you're telling the truth. They were saying it straight up. They was around her. They said, ma'am, this guy is not doing nothing. Mm-hmm. They questioned me. They said, Robert, what they said, Robert, why do you feel as though that she had why do you feel as though that she is making these claims against you i said i told them the truth i said because she's a narcissistic individual uh-huh and once i said that they knew for a fact okay let me tell you something this dude know what he's talking about we're educated on these individuals do we deal with these liars on a daily basis so like we know that she's lying because we read body language robert we know you're telling the truth and because we there's no drugs you don't look like you smoke yeah but look 
they got they um that they bro let me tell you something they um that's what god came in they got me on um, my own hotel room they said robert if you need anything to eat we got you they didn't even tell me that robert let's take you to your sister house because i told them they was like where you want to go i said you can take me to my sister they said nah we got you that, that this what they came through that, that's why they said we got you no they these because book gave me a uh, i got a week in a hotel man look and i and i still had money i still had money the cops came through but see that was god on everything i put that on everything i love oh but like yeah oh you see the extra but man look and let me tell y'all something the look on her face as she seen the police was signed with me i was so happy i was man i was like yeah oh boy i'm she would hated it y'all she hated it she hated she really hated it because this woman was really trying to make make me go to jail blood like on some fucking like, like for real and i went in in this mc when you went to see this is where i knew god was working because the same cop showed up when the same cop showed up it was here we go again but see you she was too busy trying to break me she didn't know that okay you know what we have if this man has marijuana we're gonna take him he doesn't have no marijuana then on top of that this man everybody um did he put his hands on you all the siblings he didn't touch her he didn't touch her mm -hmm. that's when they knew something was out they said yeah that's when they knew something was out but anyway i uh, twice first time domestic dispute never put my hands on a woman second time don't smoke when one tried to lie on me like I, this was when you just went to go extreme length and was like you know what i'm trying to make this dude go to jail god not gonna let that happen though anyway yeah but see but see had not i would have went through that i wouldn't be a i wouldn't be the strong i wouldn't be who i am today i wouldn't be who i am today because guess what? I use that story as an example as to people gonna try, they hate when you become the best version of yourself. When you is up, when you up, and when people see you up, they gonna try to, they gonna try to use, they gonna go to extreme lists in order to try to tear you down just to build their self back up. That's people at work. That's people in general. And I was just using that for an example. And I don't mind sharing my story with y'all because I know it's individuals out there that been through it and they own mamas called the police on them also. So if I can help one, I can help many. We ain't tripping on that. We healed. Yeah. But like, yeah, man, that like on facts. We really, we some gangsters. But yeah. On everything. But hey, look. I look when you let me tell you something. You you can't break a real man, baby. You can't do that, blood. Anyway, but like, yeah, shout out to all my gangsters. For all the, for every, every yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but look, it's not even that. Like, that's an example. Like, you got to deal with that at work. You got to deal with that in life. You got to deal with that everywhere you go. Because a lot of, let me tell you something. Our, our light and our inner work that we that we pour into ourselves is 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 triggering a lot of people's shadow work that they ain't never did before because they ain't never been through no real shit. we've been through some real shit. like y'all ain't never been through no real if you ain't been through no real shit, you might never know how to deal with nothing a lot of people can't be alone by themselves and self-reflect and and sit alone by themselves and figure out okay why is these things happening to me a lot of people don't sit and take time off to themselves, and, and then you don't have that isolation period so like a lot of people you it, it mm -hmm. because guess what we got to distract ourselves because i first of all i can't believe that my parent is the one that's doing that so i'm not ready to handle that reality yet i'm not ready to handle that my parent is the first person that's trying to tear me down i'm not ready to handle that that these people i'm thinking these people are my friends but they're really my enemies because i see look i'm only your friend when i when it's something that i want you when it's something that you want me to do other than that I see how you switch in front of individuals. You don't care about me. You only care about what I can do for you. And see, when I develop boundaries, when I start loving myself, when I start taking care of myself, you have a problem with that. Everybody got a problem with that. Let me tell you something, nigga. We were, when we was down, everybody liked us. But see, once we become the best version of ourselves, everybody's scared. Everybody wanted. That's what I'm saying.
Like, you know what I'm saying? Look, we was fine when we was at the bottom. Now that we said we don't want to be at the bottom no more, everybody mad, everybody intimidated. Work from work, friends, everybody. Like these mother, because it's everywhere. We can't catch a break. We cannot catch a break. We can't. Yeah, we can't. We the most strongest individuals that's walking this earth, planet earth. Period. We the most strongest individuals that's walking this planet earth. I don't want to hear nothing about no breakup. I don't want to hear nothing about... That's some stuff you can... Y'all ain't never... If you ain't... If your mama and your parents didn't do it, you won't understand. You'll never understand. Period. Point blank. You'll never understand. It's not for you to understand. We don't want you to understand. We don't want you to feel sorry for us because we use that as fuel. We strong. You're weak. I'm a lion. I, I'm glad she did that. I'm, let me tell you something. I'm glad because I'm a man. And I don't make excuses. I'm Robert. She did that heal from it. You're not going to get nowhere by harboring hatred and resentment. You ain't going to go after your dreams. Go. You're not going to succeed with having hatred in your heart. You got to heal from this. So what? Keep it going. You're a gangster. Period. Point blank. She's already. You didn't, she didn't rat it. We know that we on, we on street code. We on demon time too. You're rat. We see you. It's on site. Period. Point blank. It's not on site. But like that's just when I and that's just what I'm under. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a. I don't want no parts of that woman. I get away from you. I'm a peaceful man, cause you're not finna tear me down and build yourself back up. Because guess what? You trying to break me, but see, I'm not gonna allow you to break me. And that's what a lot of people gonna try to do. We eat these people using us as a punching bag to make themselves feel good. Mm-hmm. Man, let me tell you something. A lot of these relationships, let me tell y'all something, bro. A lot of people that want to be with y'all and say they're interested in y'all, they don't like y'all, bro. They just using y'all for what y'all can do for them because they know we the life. See, we some givers. And we, we some givers. And we gonna always be givers. And guess what? A lot of people just want to take, take, take. They don't want to reciprocate your energy because guess what? They have no energy to reciprocate because they don't do the inner work. They don't do the self-reflecting. They don't they're they don't have your best interest at heart. We pure hearted. We got everybody best interest at heart. They let, let me tell you something. Us developing expectations for people is will set us up a failure. Never develop expectations for people because when you develop expectations for people, you set yourself up for failure, for disappointment. Let me tell you something. Take this advice from me. If somebody want to, they will. If somebody love you, they gonna show you. Actions speak louder than words. If somebody say, f forget what people saying, it's what you do. Cause let me tell you something, after my mom called the police, she got to telling me, she got to text me saying, son, I love you. I just want the best for you. How could you love me and want what's the best for me if you have not shown me that? You just did the most diabolical thing of all time. I don't care about what you say, mom. You just de tried to defame and assassinate my character. You just tried to ruin my future, but God came through and said, no way. Action speaks louder than words, man. Don't be letting these people up out here telling you what they gonna do. That's just like relationship. Everybody, look, we were marriage material. We the, I'm the husband. Just cause you a girl, that don't make you the wife. Yeah, what 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 is it about you? Do you do you love? I'm a man that loves myself. Do you love yourself as a woman? I can never even be with a woman that don't love herself because I can play with you. Anybody can play with you. You have no moral compass. These people don't have no moral compass. You cannot take anybody. Look, if ain't nobody, if it's no action coming from nobody, screw them. Period. Point blank. That's anybody. Because these motherfuckers going to try to sell you a dream. They're going to try to sell you a dream just to infiltrate your life. And then once they realize they can infiltrate you, they're going to they gonna have to go to Plan Z. We got to tear them down. We got to tear them down. Yep. Them people that be at child job, that child be, that be playing them petty games, guess what? They playing petty games at your job because, let me tell you something, they can't break you. They can't out succeed you. They ain't kill, assassinating your character, which they behind the scenes trying to do. But see, you walking up in there and still letting me know, I don't give a fuck what you're doing because you can't affect me. They hate that. Pure point blank. They do. Like these boyfriends, y'all, my sisters be doing, these dudes don't have their best interests. I'm going to tell you something. They just trying to, let me tell you something. A lot of, they just looking, yeah, bro. Yeah, but see, at the end of the day, if you don't love yourself as a woman, you're going to get taken advantage of by anybody. Because guess what? You the devil's appetite. <laughs>
you an appetite for the devil. This shit is this a goony world if you a woman that's um naive. If you a weak naive woman, you this a goony world. You gonna get ate alive, my nigga. Hmm. Cause guess what? You pure hearted. So you gonna give yourself to this man because you know what? I'm gonna I'm afraid to trust, but you know what? I'm not afraid to take a risk because I'm going to trust again. Let me tell you something. Now that you trust again, you just man just for sake your trust. You didn't gave your body to this man. You didn't gave this man your heart and your soul. And guess what? He it still wasn't good enough for him. He still found it some reason to tear you down. Same thing, my brothers. Let me tell you something. You was 100 with these females. Let me tell you something. A lot of these females don't like you, bro. They only like you for what you can do. This 2024, period, point blank. And I'm a nigga with some money behind me, the period, point blank. But see, I'm a I'm an OG, triple OG, so at the end of the day, I'm paper chasing. So I got women on lock because guess what? We can't do that to him. But but see, we, we know it's a respect with him. Yeah. So like, that's just what it is. Like a lot of fake friends, let me tell y'all something. Y'all ain't, we don't be doing nothing, and we don't go looking for trouble. We don't go, we don't be doing none of nobody, y'all. We don't be doing none of nobody. It's what we not allowing individuals to do to us. That's why they cannot accept the fact that we better than them. Because that, let me tell you something, these people got to get an ego boost off you. Remember some these energy vampires, these demons, they got to tear you down in order to build they self back up. That's how they get off. That's what they do. You got to be aware of what's going on you got to be consciously aware because that's that, that you not being consciously aware see me you can tell okay his mama was the first one that crossed him that's why he the master of this sh of course because if i can heal from my mama i can, if i can heal from childhood trauma i can heal i can do anything period point blank uh. Look, I, I never been as broke as me. I like that. When I was young, I had two pair of besides that. The pinstripes on the gray. The war I wore on one, Thursdays and Wednesdays. Why niggas float? I'm sewing tigers in my shirt like alligators. You want to see the empire? I see later. That go to drama. Oh, that's that nigga with the face. Bow. Why you punch me in my face? Stay in your place. P play your position. Follow your intuition. Go in this nigga pocket. Robin Wise friends watching. Wow, it's clocking. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know the toys B.I.G. my favorite rapper. Yeah, them some real bars right there. Like I did some real bars, like on everything. Like go go list the sky's the limit by um the toys B.I.G. That's my yeah. I'm old school, man. If it ain't if I can't feel it, if, if it, we don't have no soul, I ain't listening to it. On everything. Mm-hmm. Then on the third verse, he was after realizing my master enterprises, I ain't have to be in school by 10. I was then began to encounter with my counterparts on how to burn a block apart, break it down into sections, drugs by these selections, some use pipes, others use injections. So ran so separately, hold the deputy, grip, got, look, had to grab my Smith and Weston like my was missing. Uh, what? You can't look the sky's the limit over here so like that's just what it is we gonna get ours regardless we're gonna get the bag by it and let me tell you something when i'm at in my life i don't care about nothing but success and being the best version of myself in the bag i'm gonna get this yes come on man y'all know what it is for me man y'all know what it is for me man and i don't mind and look let me tell y'all something that's what I'm here for. We gotta. We don't mind being vulnerable with our brothers and sisters. We don't mind sharing our story. Because guess what? My story, I supposed to do that. It's not what I went through. Let me tell you something. It's, it's not, bro. It's, it ain't what I went through. It's what I overcome. I need some females on my, right now. Like, I need some, if you're a woman, you can you um give me some? Because look, I'm deserving of it. Like, you'll just be like, you know what? I'm a, I'm gonna bless him with that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bless him with that. I, I, yeah, go on bless me. Hey, psst, come on, man. Go on here, get them. Come on, man. I, hey, if I send you, look, I'm gonna send you that invite. 
and I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna fly you out. And then, hey, guess what? I'm gonna look. If I book the hotel with the balcony, you know the assignment. I'm gonna book the hotel with the balcony, man. The flowers gonna be good, man. <laughs> Certified, man. What's happening? Come get with a real OG, triple OG. Cause them little boys up out here ain't gonna do it. Yeah, them little boys ain't out here gonna do it. Yeah. Then we working with that. Come on, y'all, man. Y'all know what it is with me, man. Y'all know what it is. We be popping it. We gonna touch your soul. We gonna snatch your soul. We gonna touch your soul. We gonna make you smile. We gonna make you cry. But see, it's real rob. It's real rob. And I'm gonna end it right here. Look, it's real rob. Stay blessed, man. Don't let nobody tear you down in order to build yourself. Your mama, your family members, friends. Let me tell you something. Take that as fuel. Chilling with success. Period. Point blank. Reverse it. Reverse it. Remember, and, and let me tell you something. All the attacks that the devil going to use on you, guess what? You're going to prevail because guess what? God was right there all along. Trying to call the police. Guess what? Psst. My record is clear, and I'm so glad. Man, it feels good having a clear record because I can do whatever I want to. People up here talking about some man. My, I'm like, man, if you ain't never had the police call on you by your own mama, I don't, I don't understand. Like, that's some diabolical. And then lied on, yes. And the fact that, guess what? And I want to say this to my sisters. I want to say this to women. Y'all didn't do nothing to me. It was my mother. I'm healed. I would never disrespect no woman in no kind of way. I would never... I'm a real man. Like, I, I'm a real man. I would never dishonor no woman. I would never disrespect no woman in no kind of way because I would never, um, tr w look, you didn't do nothing to me. So guess what? Why would I make you suffer at the expense of someone else? I'm healed. Come on, man. Come get with the, don't, man, look, we don't, this is with money. We the therapist. I'm the pastor. Y'all know the pastor. Get out of, get out of that, man. Come put this up. You ain't even got to give me no money in the offering. You got to give me. Let me tell you something. You look, it, 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 I do private lessons. Cut them zeros. Come give it this hero. You ain't going to find no wisdom like this. You ain't going to find no gangster. Come on, man. Stay blessed, y'all. Y'all know we do. It, it, it's hot. Oh, uh, yeah. And pray for my membership, too, y'all. Just pray they get my membership. I hope I still have my membership um, in my gym. So, look, stay blessed, y'all. Y'all already know what it is.